two should realize by now that I plan for every contingency. Now drop your weapons. Down there. No heroics, please. Or I will kill her. Good. Now, if you'll just hang tight, we'll be with you in a moment. It's magnificent. The craftsmanship. I've never seen anything like it before. That is only a shell. The real treasure of El Dorado lies inside. <laughs> Open it! Imagination. <laughs> Navarro, that thing wiped out an entire colony. You don't know what you're doing. Wrong. I'm the only person on this island who knows what the hell he's doing. Cargue la estatua. Cuidado! You are so pathetic. All of you, scrambling around for your petty treasures. Do you have any idea what this is worth? To the right buyer? Levantalo! Oh no, what the hell is that? Oh uh, God! Run! Uh, uh, Jesus, what are those things? It's the Spaniards, Sully. They never left. My god, if that thing gets off the island... You gotta stop him. I'll cover you from here. Come on! 
Now what? You're dead, Drake! Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
Save the world, triumph over evil. Pretty typical. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's a shame we're leaving empty-handed, though. Oh, well, you know, I, I did manage to save one small thing. Here, I, I thought you might miss this. Thanks. Yeah. You two got a funny idea of romantic. Sully! Wow, you... you look like hell. You should see the other guys. <laughs> Got us a boat. Uh, we already have a boat. Yeah, big boat. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one better. <gasps> ah, ah, ah. Sully, you beautiful son of a bitch! Borrowed it off a couple of pirates who were too dead to care. <laughs> Sorry you didn't get your story. Well, that's all right. There'll be other stories. You still owe me one. <laughs> I'm good for it. And so ends Nathan Drake's first adventure in the Uncharted series. And I must say, it was actually a very impressive game. I, I still stand by what I said in the first part of this playthrough, in that there's something about third-person cover-based shooting that's never resonated with me. It's... I don't know exactly how to explain it. I've just... It, I haven't really... No, I've never found that type of gameplay style particularly enjoyable. And... And while the, there were some really cool moments in this game, I, I still think that's that holds pretty true for me, in that this style of gameplay isn't my cup of tea. Now that's not at all to say that this is not a, a good game. It's it's absolutely terrific, especially for those who are into this style of gameplay. In fact, p uh, some people I know told, during my course of my playthrough told me that actually the combat mechanics in on the first Uncharted game are actually the weakest in the series. So probably some of the small gripes I might have had with how the cover-based system worked and stuff are, are probably fine-tuned in the sequels. But again, that is not to say, oh, I absolutely hated my time with this game, because I did not. There were plenty of great moments, and I love the characters. Yeah, definitely love the characters in the story. That was probably the, the standout point for me. Elena was my personal favorite. I just loved her personality, and I, I know she does appear in the future game, so that's cool that they kept her around. And I have to say, it is actually a very, very pretty game, especially for the year it was made. These are absolutely gorgeous visuals. And I've actually always really liked jungle environments, so it's cool that we got to see such lush green environments as opposed to a lot of the grays and browns you see in a lot of shooters. So that's always a nice uh, change of pace in terms of visuals. But going back to the story, I, I did like how this is very much an Indiana Jones, Tomb Raider type of story. Adventure trying to find lost treasure, and it turns out there's some supernatural element to it. I was, I was definitely not expecting the curse of the El Dorado treasure. I thought that was actually a really neat twist, and it, gained, and it made the last act of the game a whole lot more engaging for me, fighting off all those uh, <laughs> Spaniard uh, zombies or whatever they were. That was pretty intense there. And as I said, I liked a lot of the writing, especially uh, Elena had some really good stuff. I thought she was for sure the strongest character of this game. And one more thing I do want to touch on is that I did love the music of this game. I've heard the Uncharted theme before, but I hadn't heard the rest of the soundtrack, and I, I must say I really did like a lot of the music cues in this game. There's some, some really cool stuff. With all this in mind, I, I might be interested in checking out the rest of the series. I don't know if I'll do it right now, because <laughs> I kind of, um, there were points in this game, and this doesn't happen very often for me, so that's saying something, where I was starting to get frustrated. <laughs> I, I edited out a lot of the deaths I had in this game. I don't think I've died in a game this much since the first Dark Souls, so that, that tells you how bad I was at it, and, and it, as I said, it, it sometimes bordered on frustration. 
And again, it, it, it's not that the game was bad. It, it just it kind of comes back to my own personal taste and skill as a player. Um, I did this playthrough on request, and I hope the person who requested it really enjoyed um, my playthrough of the game and got to enjoy all the fun and little goof-ups I made during, uh, <laughs> during the playthrough. But for those of you who did get to watch this playthrough, please let me know if you enjoyed it and if you'd be interested in seeing any other full playthroughs of games in the future. I know I've done some shorter stuff with things like the Telltale games, like Walking Dead and Tales from the Borderlands, but if you want something more full length like this, please let me know. I'd be happy to do it. I enjoyed this game. I don't know if I would, it's one I'd come back to again and again, but I am happy I played Uncharted Drake's Fortune. And I'm happy that Naughty Dog has had such success with the series. I know I actually started this playthrough in celebration of Uncharted 4, and I know I've heard a lot of good things about that game from people who enjoy this series, so I am happy for Naughty Dog. That being said, I would go absolutely bonkers if Naughty Dog ever decided to bring back Jack and Daxter, or even better yet, Crash Bandicoot, but, but who knows, maybe it could happen. So, Thank you, Naughty Dog, for this terrific game, and thank you, everyone who watched this playthrough and supports this channel. You all are the best, and I can't ask for better subscribers and viewers. So thank you again for watching my playthrough of Uncharted Drake's Fortune. I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, keep having great adventures, everyone! <laughs>